Shabbat Shalom everyone. Have a look around me. You could probably imagine a setting like that when Esav and Yaakov are about to meet. He's coming back home. He's a little bit scared, not really scared, but he knows about the merits of Esav because Esav was still living in Eretz Israel. He had the merits of Schut, of Yishuv Eretz Israel and Kibud Av Va'em. But nevertheless, we know how things worked out and we see that Hashem told him, don't worry, the Birkat Avraham is still with you. Now when he goes to meet him, he's ready in three different ways. Everyone knows that he was ready for war in case there was going to be a war between Yaakov and Esav. He sent gifts as a way to appease him and he also dove into Hashem. I was thinking that maybe these three things aren't necessarily a way when you are about to meet an enemy or meet a distant uh, brother or family member that you haven't spoken to for years. But maybe these three things are things that we should take with us in every stage of our lives. What do I mean? A person is about to enter marriage. She's about to enter any new stage. Those three things can help him out. Number one, gifts, smiles, giving to the other person, your partner, for example. Secondly, I'm not saying be ready for war, but uh, pick your battles. Know when to fight and how to fight. And if you are going to argue, then obviously with Darachei Noam. And the last thing is also davening to Hashem. A nice combination, all three. In this week's parsha, also, in fact, the last few parsha, we hear a lot about names. Names indicate something about the individual themselves. In fact, Chazal tell us that a person is a, has a name that they are given by their parents. That's the potential. There is also a name that other people call you, how they see you or perceive you, and there's a name that we acquire for ourselves. May I wish everyone a Shabbat Shalom, may we acquire for our name, for ourselves, a, a great name, and a little bit of news for those who uh, know that we just, who may not know, we just exposed the third dome in the Yemenite village in Kfar Hashiloach over the Beit Knesset. There's a lot to do, but this is this week's parasha Vayishlach, Shabbat Shalom.